Hello everybody, in this video we're gonna talk about solids of revolution. So what is a solid of revolution? It's simply just a three-dimensional figure that is formed by rotating a two-dimensional figure or two-dimensional shape around an axis, and we call that axis an axis of revolution. Okay, so essentially we're starting with a two-dimensional shape. We have some kind of axis that we are rotating around. And so if we can kind of picture this rotation taking place and the, the original shape going around this axis and, and connecting back to the original shape, it's gonna form a three-dimensional solid, okay? So let's take a look at a couple examples here. So we wanna identify and describe the solid after it has been rotated around the given axis. So if we look at number one, we're starting with a rectangle, has a length of 12 and a width of five. So if we think about this rectangle being rotated around this axis, it is going to create a cylinder. So if I try and draw this cylinder to the best of my ability, so let's take this and copy this down here. And let's connect these two circles, okay? All right, so let's move this one a little bit. That'd be good. Okay, so now let's assign this cylinder. And you know, once again, if we draw our cross section in here, or if we draw our axis, um, let's label our dimensions here. So this would be five. And notice like if this goes through the center, we could draw that out, it would be like a radius, and this would be five units. So if we think about our cylinder, we have a radius and we have a height of the cylinder. So we would say that this is a cylinder with a height of 12 and a radius of five. Okay, so once we rotate that triangle, or excuse me, once we rotate that rectangle around that axis, it is going to create a cylinder, okay? Let's look at number two. Now we have a right triangle that has um, a base or one of its legs is three, its horizontal leg and the vertical leg is four. And this time our axis is vertical. So we're gonna rotate it around this way. So if you can think about that happening, it's going to give us a cone. So it would look something like this. I know it might be a little bit smaller than what we've drawn. We'll go ahead and move that down just a little bit. All right. And now, once again, we're going to label the information that we have. So if we had our center point there, this would be our radius, and that would be three. And we would have a height of four, okay? So this is gonna give us a cone with a radius of three and a height of four. Once we take that right triangle and we rotate it around that axis. And the last example, number three, we have a a uh, semicircle here, and we're gonna rotate it around this axis. So once we do this, this is going to give us a sphere. So I will do my best to draw a sphere here. I know it's, it's a little bit challenging trying to do it um, on a, on a two-dimensional um, iPad here, but uh, that'll be okay. All right, so now if we think about us having a center point here and drawing out to its edge, then we would say this is six. So once we rotate our semicircle around this axis of symmetry, it's gonna give us a sphere, and this sphere will have a radius of six, okay? And that is how you describe solids of revolution. <laughs>